Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Thursday afternoon, February 17th, and we are looking at Window Trader's market profile of SPY, IWM, and Triple Qs, and boy oh boy, went from a 8 for 8, sleepy type day, to absolute rip trend down, just missed the bottom of our 5 day balance, we all go out um, with a trend day. Russell only has one set of single prints, double distribution. They have a poor low. They did not, did not probe. Triple Qs have three sets of single prints, and they price probed. We have three sets of single Oh, no, I'm sorry. We only have two sets of single prints, and we price probed. We, we filled L's. Um, Triple Qs did not. We were eight, eight for eight wide at one point. Never got nine wide. Got we finally got it lowered to G. So unlike yesterday, remember I said this is a nuance that we can't ignore. It's amazing, isn't it? The way this stuff works out. Um, these are things you'll never see on a thirty-minute chart. How this profile paints a, a very pi a pretty picture. I had a very good day today. Just smacked them all over the place on on small lots. Um, that added up tremendously. Um, I got. I'm not going to say lucky, but I got fortunate in J period on a long, which, I, which I'll go over in a minute. And then after that, I was nothing but short, K, L, M. So it started in A period um, with a long, 443 calls. I thought it kept, we didn't have any inventory adjustment. The overnight was short. We were going back and forth. We finally... As we write it, now it doesn't look like a lot, but remember, I'm in 10 tick increments here. So from the opening, which was 443.22 to A's high, it was 60 cents almost. And I got I got it when I took the long, didn't stay in it, married to it, and started off okay. And by the way, speaking of the opening, we opened now the last three days within 71 cents of each other. 443.73, 443.93, 443.22. Amazing. We battled the 20 and 200 in the morning, early in the morning, only to say, see ya, and we closed $7 below them. So after A's long, B took out A's low. I didn't take a short on the low. I'm like, you know, we should go fill the gap, right? So, you know, we finally got the gap. And then when B pushed up, because we had lower value, I was looking overlapping lower. I looked for a short and... Um, Three times I shorted the 442s in B period. C period, because we're one time framing down. Now, again, I was not shorting the lows because there's no tempo follow through. But every push up, shorted it. Did that twice. So I shorted the 442s five times between B and C. Then in D period, we got up to where value high was at the time. This was an incredibly visual level. And I'm going to show you a trade I missed um, that proved to be very, very um, visual and a great um, lead into what happened in the afternoon. So at the time, value high was here, half back was here, yesterday's low was here. Value high was here, value low was there. You talk about a very important area. We had already taken out the IB, overnight low, had a uh, lower value. I'm like, uh, you know, this is kind of the line in the sand here. Now, so I shorted D against value high to 443s. I didn't do it in E because I was eating. F went down a little bit, but G gave a head faking up. And silly me, just not paying attention, because then G came back and like, you know what? That could have just been our afternoon rally high. And boy, oh boy, was it. Then in H, uh, we took out G's low, flushed out. I took a small long of the 438 calls against the low of the day, which paid. Now, remember... We were eight for eight wide. So when Jay made a new low, I was not expecting to go trend just yet. Triple Qs had made three lows and, and attempted single prints and couldn't get them earlier in the day. So I was like, I don't mind now. I took a small 10 lot right above C, took another 10 lot below the day's low, and then when it flushed more, I bought a 30 lot. And I was very fortunate as soon as I bought that 30 lot, we went right back up into the range and I took everything off. Actually, no, I lied. I held small and I said, if we come back below C's low again, I'm out. And it did and I got out. 
So it paid me nicely, gave me one opportunity, because after that, we never saw C's low again. As we went trend, and then I just used 440 and 439 puts, short in K, at least twice in L, and at least twice in M, to finish off a very nice day. Destinations for tomorrow. Upside, we have a price probe. L's low, 436.91. Then our two sets of single prints. First one starts at L's high, 438.62. Gets filled at J's low, 439.01. Then we have K's high, 439.34. Gets filled at C's low, 439.80. G, afternoon rally high, 441.85. And today's high of 446.57. Now I'm not going to ignore an eight wide pock tomorrow, but at some point I'm not writing it down. And if we don't get back to it, well, then within a week or so, it's going to be off my sheet. Uh, well, not off my sheet, off my screen. Now, if we get back there, first of all, there's people in the room that keep 8 wide. But more importantly than 8 wide to me will be if these single prints fill, we get into the upper distribution, and we see what happens at the afternoon rally high. So that's why. I need 9 more or better. For the downside, today's low, 436.42. 435.34, Monday's low, bottom of our 5-day balance. 431.83, afternoon pullback low, January 28th. 427.82, daily low. 427.15, daily low. And I'm please write these, not being repeated. 426.03, afternoon pullback low from the 24th. And then the next big target, 420.76, monthly low, yearly low to this date. Now get to the charts and we're going to go from monthly down just in the spy tomorrow we do all of them <clears throat> so the monthly to me has been down okay we had an outside month down last month so the monthly's down yes february's inside of it but it's down i'll see at the end of february what i call it right i can tell you one thing if by the end of february we take out january's low it will certainly be down instead of balance or down to balance. But right now, the monthly is down. Weekly. Now, remember I said a lot of people might call it balance because we got back into it. I said, there's no way I'm doing that. Well, guess what? We're back below those two weekly lows anyway. But I'm still down. I said, I need the buyers to take out a week this week's high at some point. By the way, did you see where this weekly high got up to? Right to this line I had here. Now, that line, I want to see why I had that line here trying to think what significance it was oh it was this daily low right here when we came back down 44 yeah that's it that's 448.92 okay and we got up to 448.06 this week amazing isn't it so that's why i had it there so the weekly is also down what's the next destination 420.76 daily now here's where it gets a little tricky I'm still calling this a, a huge five-day balance. Now, can you call today down? Of course you can. You could say we came out of a two-day balance and the daily's down. I don't have a problem with that. I also don't have a problem if you say we're in a four-day balance, right? One, two, three, four. But because we got so much into this range, I'm still incorporating a whole five-day balance. At least for now I am. Okay? So I'm using Friday's um, high. Monday's low is the top of my balance. We said yes in this morning's video, right? Remember what we said? We had an outside day up. If we take out the day's high, we should go get Friday's high. If we take out the day's low, we should go test the bottom of our balance low. And that's exactly what we did. We missed it by under a dollar right now. So now balance rules, and they are more important to me than gap rules, are in effect for tomorrow morning. I'm going to go over them one time since we haven't done them in a while. There's three parts to it. You get close to a balance low. You don't get it, and then you roll back up. You get the balance low, slightly extend it, and come back up. Or you get below a balance low and don't look back. Well, where we close today is the first one I just said. We got close to the balance low. Now, I don't know what happens tomorrow morning. I don't think we'll take back to trend day that quick. So now the bigger question is, do we take out today's low and the balance low 
And what do we get for our efforts? All remains to be seen. It's a great chess game to figure out every day. Um, again, I'm getting a lot of views and a lot of likes. I really appreciate it. Put a lot of work and effort, not only into these videos, but man, being on the mic from 9.15 to 4 all day, really trying to help all the traders in the room uh, be successful at seeing the market properly and trading the right way. Have a great evening, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.